So let's go beyond the headlines and take a look at the history of presidential term limits and the one man who broke from convention. The American Revolution was fought to escape the rule of the British crown. But did you know the U.S. came close to a similar system? The framers of the Constitution actually considered making the presidency a lifetime appointment. Can you imagine that? Ultimately, they settled on four-year terms, but they didn't mention anything about how many of those four-year terms a president could serve. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson set a president by only serving two, and that remained the status quo all the way up until the 32nd president, Franklin Roosevelt. He was first elected to office in 1932, then re-elected three more times. Keep in mind that his presidency spanned the Great Depression and World War II, and he died in office just a few months after his fourth inauguration on April 12, 1945. Six years later, in 1951, the U.S. ratified the 22nd Amendment, which officially limits presidents to only serving two terms. So if President Trump wants to serve a third term, he would first need to get to work on repealing the 22nd Amendment. 